Hello everybody and welcome back to my course. In the last video we stored Composer along with PHP and MySQL and for our web server we installed Nginx. In this video we are actually going to install Laravel. Before we do that we need to install our PHP dependencies. To do that just run sudo apt install php xml then php bcmat and hit enter. After that we would need to create a MySQL database and a MySQL user which we are going to use for our Laravel application. So just access MySQL by typing mysql hyphen new and root and then hyphen p for password. Hit enter and enter your password. Then to create a database just type create database and then the name of your database. I'll just put here Laravel and hit enter. After that, let's create a user as well. Just type grant o on laravel.star. This basically means all of the tables for our Laravel database. Then to followed by your Laravel database username. Then add localhost. After that, to specify our password, we need to put identified by, followed by the password. And let me quickly generate a secure password. What I would do, I would open a new terminal and just echo a random string. Then I would pipe the output to base64. And I would use this random string as my database password. Then put a semicolon at the end and hit enter. That's pretty much it. Now we have a database and a user and a password. We can exit and the next thing that we would need to do is to actually use Composer to install Laravel. But before that, let's quickly delete this index.html file here so that it doesn't cause us any issues. Just cd to the var html folder and type sudo rm star. Now, if you go to your home directory by just typing cd and then run Composer, create project, and let's specify our preferred list. Just put Laravel slash Laravel, which would basically use the latest Laravel version. And then let's put block at the end. This is the folder where our Laravel project would be installed at. I'm going to speed up the process a little bit because this might take a minute or so. Once this is done, you can actually CD into the block folder and then run php artisan and you'll be able to see that Laravel is installed and that it's version 7.10.3. Okay, so let's go ahead and configure our database. Just type nano.env or use any other text editor of your choice. If you go to the db underscore username and specify the username that we just created, also, let's copy our password and put it under the password section. I would not have to change the database name as I use the same database name. Just save that and exit. Actually, let's update a few more things. We can specify our app name here. I'll just put Laravel block uh, in quotes. Let's also specify our app environment. Let's put here development. And one other thing that I would like to change is the app URL. I'll just copy my IP address, get rid of the local host here, and paste the IP address of my server here. Save that and exit. Then let's go ahead and configure our Nginx server block. We would need to specify the path to the Laravel installation. I actually have prepared a configuration that I'll share below the video, which you could just copy and paste rather than typing it all along. So to create a new server block, just type sudo nano slash etc slash nginx slash sites dash available and here put the name of your file. I'll just say laravel dash block, hit enter and copy and paste the configuration that I've shared below the video. You could feel free to review the um, file. Here I specify the document root and the server name. Just save that. Now the next thing that we need to do is create a symlink from the sites available folder. 
to the site enabled folder. That is how we are actually going to enable this new server block. So just type sudo ln then hyphen s which creates a symbolic link then the path to the laravel block in the sites available folder followed by edc nginx sites enabled and then the same name hit enter and now if you list the contents of the sites enabled folder you will be able to see the same link there what we could actually also do is remove the default configuration so that it doesn't affect our Laravel server block. To do that, we just need to remove the link from the site enabled folder. Just type unlink, actually sudo unlink, and then the path to the default file, which is etc nginx sites enabled. After that, let's run a quick nginx configuration test by typing sudo nginx t. And if we get syntax okay, then this means that we can go ahead and restart the nginx. There's one final thing that we need to do, which is actually to update the file ownership of the storage folder so that nginx could write to the storage folder. This is where we're going to keep our Laravel logs and things like that. To do that, just type sudo chown, which changes the ownership of a directory or file, followed by column, and then www-data, then the storage folder name. Actually, just type sudo chown hyphen r, which is going to change the ownership of all of the files and folders inside that folder recursively. And then if you head to your browser and hit refresh, sure enough, you will get the Laravel welcome page, which means that we have successfully installed Laravel. And this is going to be pretty much it for this video. Now we have Nginx configured, Laravel installed, and we are ready to move to the next video where we are going to install Voyager. I hope you find this useful and if so, please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss the next video. Thank you and I'll see you next.